In this particular video of molecular biology, we'll be discussing about CPG islands. The CPG refers to cytosine, phosphate, and guanine. So we can say these are the dinucleotides in series connected by phosphates. And also remember that there is a CG base pair which should not be confused with CPG islands because CG dinucleotides are present on single strand. If you look at the DNA strand, we have cytosine, phosphate, guanine, phosphate, cytosine, phosphate, guanine connected in a series are running into 5' prime to 3' prime end as shown in the figure and its complementary bases will be in this manner and look out here it is this CPG dinucleotides that we are concerned with not the CG base pairs in the genome the CG dinucleotides occur many times but all cannot be said they are CPG islands so what makes the CPG islands? It's when there is a length of greater than 200 base pairs and also GC percentage is greater than 50%. That time we can say these are the CPG islands. So anywhere in genome when these conditions are met we call them CPG islands. And also one more thing to be noted here is that the 60% of mammalian promoters have CPG islands but they are mostly unmethylated. And CG dinucleotides are rarely found outside promoter region of genome due to the phenomena of CG suppression. The CG suppression eliminates the mutations because CGs are prone to methylation as in case of cytosine when methylated forms 5-methyl cytosine and this can spontaneously turn into thymine through deamination which induces mutation. That's why we have CG suppression in genome in the course of evolution. So what's the work of these CPG islands? In general, we can say they regulate the gene expression. To be precise, we see CPG islands regulate cell type specific expression, suppression of testes specific genes, there's a control of imprinted genes through CPG islands, and also there's a de novo methylation of CPG islands, which helps in the X chromosome inactivation. So how these all functions are being regulated by CPG islands? We can see the CPG islands are prone to methylation and it's all due to this DNA methylation which is aided by the DNA methyl transferase enzymes DNMT. DNA methylation mostly targets the cytosine bases. We have DNMT1, DNMT3A and DNMT3B enzymes. DNMT1 is responsible for maintenance of DNA methylation while as both DNMT 3A and DNMT3B carry out both maintenance as well as de novo DNA methylation. Let's take a quick overlook of how cytosine is methylated. We see in this figure we have a cytosine. It's acted upon by methyl transferases, particularly by DNMT3A and 3B. And these enzymes help the methyl group to be transported from same molecule to the cytosine at fifth position. And from this transfer, we will get 5-methyl cytosine, which is the methylated form of cytosine. And it is these methylated bases in CPG islands that regulate the gene expression through alteration of gene expression or modification of gene expression. So this is all about CPG islands and a little bit of DNA methylation. In the next video, we'll be discussing about DNA methylation in detail. And if you want to watch other videos related to molecular biology, there is a link to the playlist in the description. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.